Hey everyone, and welcome back to, yes, the next episode of the Cordless Carpenter and his Workbench Build! Woo! Alright, so, I shot some video earlier, about 45 minutes of it, and it got wiped out, so here we are now. I, uh, I went through going and talking about how I screwed these down, right? So the front and the rear uh, components are both bolted to the legs from the aprons and they're lag screwed through the bearers. Uh, there are four bolts going through the legs on here, two per leg vertical and one on either side of the apron going through there. So a total of six bolts. And here there are eight lag screws, two per section per side. Uh, slightly offset on purpose. Um, so when you're dealing with hand tools, this is uh, this process is not as fast as you might want to think it is. It's not as simple as throwing everything up in there, making sure it's all square, and then drilling some pile of holes and running some screws up in. When you're dealing with this with hand tools. Uh, brace and bit, you know, drilling with a brace and bit, you can't do it really from the underneath. That ain't happening with your legs and your stretchers and everything all up in the way. It's just not happening. So you got to use your brain and think of a better way to do things. So what I did was I removed this rear section in this case. Uh, I did the front section last night, and it has taken me all of this morning to get this rear section on. Uh, but so the first thing you did was remove the rear section and marked out the bears where I wanted to drill the holes on both sides, and then drill the holes. That's the easy part. <clears throat> you put this unit back on, and at that point, that's when the fun starts. So you already have the holes through the bears, but before you run the auger bit through there to mark where your holes are, your bench has to be absolutely perfectly straight, or as straight as you want it to be. Square, that is. So I'm measuring my, the squareness of my bench <clears throat> off of the inside corners of my legs, where the legs, the bears meet, the uh, the aprons. So to do that, I just took my framing square. I took my framing square, and I checked it. It was slightly racked uh, this way. <clears throat> so I get my bolts. My I put the front the, the rear section back on. I put my bolts in there, finger tight, and I have clamps going across bar clamps going across the top of each leg and I also have clamps holding the bear the tops to the bear and I also have my wedge system lightly in place then I take I took a pipe clamp and I put it uh, in between these two legs with some sacrificial boards and I pressed it to where it brought this to this once I got the bench square and that took a while. You have to go back and forth. Well, that took and that took a while, but I got it square. Then I take the auger bit, I shove it back up through the hole, tap it, mark the holes on all four, take the bench top unit back off, uh, flip it over on top of the frame, and pre-drill those. Now, <clears throat> um, the Uh, well, they're all the screws are in, so this is a shorter version. These are the ones that are going to go through my, through the bear up into the wellboard. Uh, but uh, for demonstration purposes, they're the same, right? This drill is slightly larger than the entire outside diameter of the the threads of this bolt of the screw. That is so that this can go all the way through without having to turn it. All right, just straight up through the hole. You don't want to drill this hole smaller to, you know, be able to thread it because then you're dealing with parallel threads and you'll never be able to cinch the tops down. So, 
I drilled through with these and then I came through and I tapped it to mark it, flipped it up and then pre-drilled it, pre-drilled the tops, the, the holes on the top that I just uh, marked, uh, drilled them with the drill bit the exact same size as the shank or the solid metal piece that you would see running through the, through the center of the lag screw. What that does is it it makes it to where all I'm doing is threading the threads into the into the wood instead of trying to shove a solid piece of metal up into the wood that will either at that moment or eventually um, split the wood. <clears throat> and with a screw this size, you don't have we really don't have to worry about stripping anything out or anything. I got these suckers pretty tight and it's it's good to go. Um, so I mark it, I pre-drill it, I drill it to accept these. Uh, then I <clears throat> I put the unit back on, make sure it's bolted loosely, uh, wedges are in place, clamped to the bear, uh, and clamps across uh, the top of the, the, from both sides on top of the legs of the frame. And then everything is kind of there but loose. And then I rack it to make sure, check everything. Once everything gets nice and square, I tighten everything down. And, uh, and then I run the screws up. I tighten, cinch down the screws, and that's that. And that's where I sit now. So both the front and the rear are bolted down to the frames so they're all one unit now and they are not going anywhere in the near future <clears throat> I mean this I have to use my legs to lift this sucker up it's a couple hundred probably three four hundred pounds this bench all together that's a lot of lumber this is a seven foot bench and the final dimension for the width is just over 33 inches, so we'll call it 33, and 38, almost, so 30, 37 and 3 quarters inch tall, and obviously 7 feet long. Bam, right on money. So there you have it. All I have left to do now, or my, the, I say all I have left to do, I have a lot left to do really. But my next step is to, um, is to mill out the wellboard. Mill it out, fit it up. Uh, I may end up dadoing the bottom to so that it sits a little further, kind of like Paul Sellers did in his video, and then feather that into the... Uh, to match the depth here of the bottom of the bench tops. And so that's where we sit. Uh, make sure that when, if you're doing this bench or a bench similar to this, uh, make sure, take your time, think it through, use your brain. Take your time, do it slowly. And make sure you don't screw this part up or all of your work will be for naught. It'll be for nothing. Because the last thing you want to do is like forget to put a wedge in or not you forgot to make sure that this section of the bench was square and and true and everything else and then and, and then you go to you, you transfer your holes, you drill your holes, you screw your, your lag screws in, and you screwed everything together out of parallel or, or all, not square or something of that nature like your your uh, your bench uh, your your aprons weren't or your legs weren't fully seated into the housing dados or some some craziness like that uh, so take your time so I'll fit the well board up today it's only like five o'clock or so something like that I'll fit the well board up today and I will have it bolted down today and I will when I get to that point I'll bring you along for it 
Um, and then the next step for me uh, is some of the some of the few finishing touches, uh, like this section right here of this table is of uh, this top is uh, a little bit less, but a roughly a sixteenth uh, longer than everything else because this is uh, was the one of the first cuts that I made where. I did. I hadn't applied my the cutting technique that I learned through this process, so I was doing what I normally do and cutting the bench just a smidge longer to plane it down. So I gotta I gotta plane this down to exactly seven inches so that the rest of the bench is square. And <clears throat> I'm gonna end up trimming. I know you can't really see this, so I'll bring it down. But looking at this rear apron, it's so massive, uh, and I'm probably I'm going to do the same thing over here. But I've I've seen it where they cut they cut like a 45 um, in there. I'm not sure if I'll do a 45 or maybe I'll I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but I will profile this somehow. Maybe come, kind of come down with some kind of shape. But I'm going to take these corners off. There's no point in them being there. Um, they just, they just don't need to be there, and they'll, I'll end up catching my leg on it every time I come around the bench. So might as well take care of it. And uh, so I got to do that. I got to trim up the ends. Um, do the well board, I gotta flatten the top, mount the vices, and <clears throat> well, there's still there's still a lot I have left to do. Uh, and that's not to mention, you know, um, taking a card scraper and scraping all the marks and everything off and finishing the bench with some boiled linseed oil, which is what I I plan on finishing it with. Um I am testing out, I tested out on the bottom, um, but I've got a couple different, and I've never really used it before because I've never really had to, but I got a couple of different wood fillers here. Um, just for like, I have this little gap right here, it's like eight, nine inches gap, and it's real small, but I don't want it, you know, that'll bug me. And then some of the spots where there's um, there's knots and whatnot that I, I don't like them the way they are. They're a little pitted and such. So and there's really no other gaps. There's some. Uh, there is a gap here or where where a knot was. There's really no other gaps. Um, some sap pockets and such. That I, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. And, uh, and get that all sanded and everything. Uh, but that's kind of where I sit right now. So, tomorrow is pretty much <clears throat> going to be... I'm going to get as much done today as I can on the bench because tomorrow I have, I have to uh, utilize the nice day, the only nice day out of this three-day weekend that we're going to have. I mean, today's pretty nice, don't get me wrong. But I wasn't planning on it being nice. So... I have to um, do some yard work and, and wash the cars and whatnot. And if I have any extra time left at the end of the day, <laughs> well, I'm going to get started laying out, maybe even chopping for my vice. So that will be that'll be humongous. Once I get a once I get a vice on here, watch out, watch out. Uh, I am going to put the vice right here. That's where the vice is going to go, the main vice anyway. Um, then the other one is going to go at the other end over here. And <clears throat> then a crochet hook will come out right about here. And I'll have some holes drilled and then we got to do, we got to drill out the, uh, the dogging system. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably drill a full dog system 
all the way down this bench top so that I can dog from that side, from the end, and from the, from the front. And then here I'm just going to have random holes wherever I feel I need to hold fast or some kind of plane stop or something of that nature. Uh, so that's where we say I still have to, I'm going to beeswax the end just like Cody from Wrangler Star did. I'm going to beeswax all the uh, ingrain and everything once it's finished. So that'll be part of the uh, finishing process. So beeswax and on the end the grain and boil linseed oil for the rest of the bench. I'm actually going to, on the parts that you don't see, <clears throat> and maybe even on some of the parts that you do see, I'm going to leave the marks. My, my, I'm going to leave some of the marks there just because I think it, it's kind of cool. And it kind of reminds me of how, how I built the bench and, and brings me back to the, pro, to, the, uh, to the process of the bench build. And something else I still have to do too is, is throw the rabbit in here on both corners so that I can put, um, well, I don't have the wood yet, but you can kind of imagine a tool tray or not a tool tray, but a tool cover. I'm going to probably put it in three sections um, that will sit flush in there. And I'm going to use three quarter inch, uh, three quarter inch stock, which that's what this is here. And I'll probably make it out of a <clears throat> pretty fancy wood or something, I don't know. And then have little somethings to little holes or little grabs to, to pull it up. So that's where I sit now. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave me something down below. Let me know you're following. Um, whatever. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And keep tracking. So friends and family, I love you. And everybody else, I'll see you guys later today once I get the... Uh, the well board milled up and I start fitting it up and everything so I'll see you then